and welcome back to Xenoblade. Let's uh, delve a little deeper into the fortress. Hey, God isn't gonna, be, isn't gonna dethrone himself. I think I forgot to mention it, but uh, along with the new regular battle theme, we have a new ambush encounter theme too. I expected a tougher battle. Let's stay focused. Everyone do good. I forget what it's called, but I'm not super fond of it or the other one. It'll take more than that to slow us down. Everyone do good! Nice job! I shall help. He's fine, he just uh he got some new powers after his dip into the ether. That said, I would strongly advise not falling into the ether, uh, since there are, we have yet to hit a landmark. Where are we? Looks like the control room for an ether blast furnace. There, look at that. Hmm. So this is what supplies the Mechon with ether energy. Shulk! What's that? Oh, looks like fun! Ricky want to ride! We didn't come here to mess about, Furball. Time to bounce on. Hold on. If we can stop that piston, we might be able to shut down the blast furnace. Nice idea. Cut off the Mechon's ether supply. Ah, oh, so we're Final Fantasy Pretty VII again. We try. Yeah, <laughs> yep. How are we supposed to stop something that massive? If we can stop the turbines driving the piston, it should work. And the turbines should be nearby. Right. Let's search for them. All right. So the first one is guarded by, uh, I read his name as Glacier Acorn for a second. <laughs> You're not the only one who did. <laughs> yeah, the unique monster theme still does not change despite us being on the Tonus, which, you, you know, kind of hard. I, I appreciate because uh, you'll remember our name is a pretty good song. And it, it actually does fit in better more on Makanus than it does on Bionis. Yeah. If anything, I kind of like the uh, the remastered version of the song for Bionist because it sounds a little more organic because it's orchestrated, and then the classic one for Mechonist because uh, you got all the heavy metal. Yeah, like if, if they were thinking, that's probably what they should have done to begin with, like just the like same song, different instruments. Oh, I see by shut down these turbines, we're just going to politely press a switch so that they can come back behind us tomorrow morning and turn them back on. 
It's good oh, to see. Do you think any of us brought a pipe bomb to, to 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 blow it up? You know, it's it. We have a sword that can kill God. <laughs> and people who can like summon anything and <laughs> shoot guns and cause explosions. None of these people are smart, okay? You really expect Shulk to get the idea to just, like, swing the Monado at the goddamn thing and just break it that way? If only we are right the most polite eco-terrorists in the world. At this point, I decided I wanted to hear uh, what um, the rearranged version of Mechanical Rhythm sounded like. Unfortunately, now that you've killed all the mech on in the place, you're never going to hear it. Eh, we'll find some eventually. I still have no idea what this pipe is for. That. Yeah. <laughs> I'm reminded of like a little anecdote from like behind the scenes on like Star Trek The Next Generation. Like they would label certain pipes that like came in and out of the walls with the uh, like the initials G N D N, which stood for goes nowhere, does nothing. Ah. <laughs> Victory is ours. Cool. Let's keep this up. Victory to Ricky. Huh. Let's go. Try hard. Everyone, do your best. Let's go. We will get the same fate. We are running here on invincible. I'm ready. Looks like we managed to survive. Victory to Ricky! Cool! Let's keep this up! And start cutting pipes to make sure they can't repair it easily. And start cutting. Nope. Nope. We did it. time now. Shut it down. This should prevent them from mobilizing any large mech on squads for now. Hopefully, we've improved the Allied forces' chances. Like for a day, maybe. Hold steady, my brother. I frankly, I, I just appreciate that no one is coming to uh, restart these processes immediately. I was gonna say, yeah, like th this this is going to be undone literally the second anybody looks at a diagnostic screen. Look, the only people who are managing production are also unionized, and we've seen how effective they are. <laughs> it looks like the doors. The rest of them all told the shit shift of having to like nice. Let's get wax the and shine things. and polish Eggle's giant lucky, golden mech. So you know. They're kind of a little bit occupied at the moment. The unionized mechs work the overnight shift because of better pay and benefits you get. What would a mech on's 401k look like anyway? Probably in binary. <laughs> Oh, see, there you go. Now we're getting somewhere. A self-destruct sequence. <laughs> Don't let Ryan touch it. Well, I mean, it was locked out, so I'm, I'm assuming that, like, 
you're never actually going to use it. it like, it's just there taunting you. Yeah, I don't remember ever actually touching that thing, like, to actually use. So, I'm not sure what Glacier Acorn is doing over here, but, uh... He, he can die again, I guess? God, like, this, this is just getting into, like, fucking Spaceballs territory. Like, the heroes literally walk past a button literally labeled self-destruct device. They don't push it, and yet they just, yeah, push a button and just turn the thing off temporarily so that it can be easily restarted with, like, no attempt to, like, actually properly sabotage it. I mean, I guess, I guess the, the, the reasoning is like, you know, do you want to be the guy who has to go all the way down to Ether Furnace 4 and press that fucking button? <laughs> like, do you know how far down that is? Still, I, I just can't get over the fact that there was a literal self-destruct button there, and we walked past it because there was a sign on it that said out of order. <laughs> Either that or there's a key and someone lost it in the ether. <laughs> You know, that sounds infinitely more plausible than the fact that it just doesn't work. You know, fucking Mechon Jim was out there working on the turbine the other day and just, oops, there it went, right into the ether. Let's just hope we'll never have to blow up our own base. Again, you, you've seen, like, the stupid spindly designs the Mechon have, no fucking wonder. That, like, they just dropped something accidentally into, like, the, the literal life goo. Yeah, we saw what happened to Zord when he when he fell into the ether. No one's getting that key back. I do appreciate the steel drums in the, uh, like, the remastered version of the track, but, like, they're kind of overshadowed by, like, them amping the butt rock up even further. <laughs> like, at this point, it literally just sounds like just someone pounding on the glass in the recording studio screaming, TURN THAT SHIT DOWN! RIP. Oh, see, it was just a small dip in the ether. Just take a little swim for a second, we'll get right back out, no big deal. Unfortunately, I don't think there's any way to get back onto the path. Well, at least you got the landmark. Yeah, that helps a lot. <laughs> God damn it, Chaos. <laughs> I've been getting careless. No panic, them, no girls. Again, I, I love the fact that you decided to willingly commit suicide because you could not jump over a waist-high fence. He just wouldn't do it! Look, Dunban's agility isn't quite what it used to be, okay? He's not a young man anymore. <laughs> Chaos isn't the type that plays FPS games that require, you know, that sort of skill. <laughs> Like, Dunban's gonna try and vault over that fence, and, like, he's gonna dislocate his hip in the process. <laughs> or Dunban. In any case, I'm so happy there's a landmark just right there. Timing is everything! Remember that! Ricky, just move! Eat this! Ricky! 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 Ricky!
You got that just right at the last possible second. <laughs> uh, yes, I was totally playing that the whole time. <laughs> just keeping everybody at the edge of their seats. That's how you know you're a real showman, Argate. <laughs> Alright, so you, you took out the strong super monster, now you're just eating shit to the rest of the normal chumps. Of course. I'm doing what I can. <laughs> It's fine, we still got party gauge. You can rest later. <laughs> <laughs> it also doesn't help if this guy has a, a a damage spike on him. You can rest later. Dunban, I was dead! <laughs> For all intents and purposes, I was resting. You can rest when you've decomposed. Nice job! Again, I can see why Shulk jumped in the ether willingly a couple minutes ago. Dunban pro zombie. <laughs> he can't make the Dunban used to be in the army. He was hardcore. the physics on Dunban's hair in the elevator. <laughs> I've never noticed it before. <laughs> Now we get to fight all the other mecha that aren't Fiora. I'm I'm glad the game doesn't instant fail the mission or give you game over or whatever if you uh if you manage to clip Fiora during this though. I can't imagine how this fight would even be remotely possible if it did. Me neither. Harvey both appreciates and is horrified by the fact that of all the mech on that surround you, Shulk instantly goes for Fiora for some reason and starts attacking her. Well, he did have that vision. Like, you'd think he'd want to, like, I don't know, not make that happen? Aside, like, a, like, instead of, like, actively trying to make it occur, but whatever, you, you do you, Shulk. Everyone, 
Now I kind of want to see what happens if you're actually dumb enough to like go out of your way not to kill them and just kill Fiora. I don't know. I, I feel like at, at some point you're just going to get overwhelmed by the other mech on or Fiora's just going to heal herself. Just teleports you to the end of the game and goes, congratulations on finding the secret Fiora. level. Fiora, please! Don't you remember us at all? It's no use! Everyone, it's time to retreat! Got it! Understood. Move! Shulk! Yeah, I'm sure that's good for the structural stability of this place. You're the only one I care about, Melia! I mean, he's not wrong. You alright? Yeah. I think so. What do we do now, Shulk? We ain't gonna last long here. Fiora! Try and remember! It's us! I pity you. Without the power of that sword, I doubt you would ever have made it this far. Alright, get out of your mech on suit, idiot. I was gonna say, I mean, um... Apollo yes? Fun. Activate. <sighs> I shall tell you stories that may or may not be true. <laughs> Ah! Uh, Murray, what's going on? What's happened to the Monado? Look out! Ah! Shulk! I'm... Uh, okay. Shulk, wait right here! Fiora! Stop this right now! How could you? Shulk came here to save you! Do you hear me, Fiora? You must run! Fiora! Fiora! Or oh, whoever you are! Please, run! The machine is not under my control! Not under your control? Is it him? Most surprising. I admit I never expected such resistance to becoming a fate. Fiora, what have you done to her? From the moment of their creation, all Mechon are mine to control. Should a passenger defy me, I force it to obey. Why make Homs into Mechon? Why are you making them attack by Onis? If you wish to know, you'll have to pay for the DLC. All will become clear when you attack Bionis with a new body born of Mechonis. Or you could just no. tell us. Who would ever submit to you? Forget well, I mean, Mumkar did, we so. But, but what about Fiora? Mumkar is not people. If we die here today, <laughs> she will be. He's also kind of an idiot. She will be lost forever. Choose. I have rendered the Monado useless. You have no hope of victory or escape. <sighs> you chunk of scrap! So it was you who did that to the Monado! Yeah, that was kind of obvious. Is a tool that regulates who the else would it have been? Melia? From which the world it, is oh, the one guy wow. who said something right before Sudden the activated? betrayal? It can be counteracted simply by releasing opposing waves. But <laughs> how can you? The questions end here. Hand over the Monado. After all, hand in it your no exams. Use to you. Never! 
If the Monado really is powerless, then why would you want it for yourself? I will never give it to you. Uh, sick burn. Never. He's gonna have to go retreat to Twitter. Be crushed by my fist. <laughs> Or slain by your old friend. I'm not owned, I'm not owned. I scream as I sh slowly shrink into a big giant corn cob. Hip into a giant golden corn cob. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, now we have to, uh, now we can go beat up, uh, Fiora. <laughs> I can't help but notice that mysteriously the Monado seems to be working just fine again. Yeah, I, uh, I have no idea what Eggle's on about. It, d it seems fine. <laughs> Eggle's kind of stupid. Again, par for the course for everyone else in this game so far. But, like, I would have really appreciated it if just, like, Shulk took a run at Eggle and just, like, started just bashing the depowered Monado against his feet to see what happened. So I'm just gonna hope that... There's like a secret cutscene or whatever that we'll play after this fight where it shows Shulk and crew who are all like huddled together and be like, Alright, when he says the word, just pretend like the gut, the weapon's the word. Can you actually attack him at all in this fight, or is it just pointless to do so? He... He's level 60 right now, so... I think if you were high enough leveled, you could? You probably shouldn't, though. I mean, how are you not, like, level 83 or something? I didn't do that many side quests. I'm, I think my max level's, like, 56 or something at this point. So what you're saying is you could have attacked and dethroned gun. <laughs> well, we're not quite sure about the dethroning part, but you could have attacked god, yes. Well, now he sits there in his icon, so presumably... I think Fiora's health has stopped draining, so I think we're about done with the fight anyway. Ah, the old classic, actually, I'm invincible now, sorry. Oh, our weapons don't work all of a sudden. What gives? Oh no, the Monado has lost I all of its power! <sighs> Shulk! Don't let him die! Help Shulk! Help them! Who are you? This is the end. She really wants to know. Whoever you are, please lend me your strength. I won't let you do this! Fiora! How dare you defy me! Worthless machine! Fiora! Thank you. No matter how much you yearn for revenge, I will not permit you to have your way. <gasps> the Monada? But how? Fiora, no, stand 30 meters to the left. It's all you need to do. Survive. Will you die for them? What is this? Uh, Looks like someone found that self-destruct button. Let's get out of here! Man, I wanted to push it. Too bad. Uh, this is just they, they like probably the just ending put it, to like, a override or some shit. Shulk! Where are you? <sighs> Shulk, get back here! We are...
somehow I'm struggling to get you to you downhill. you're complaining about seeing as how everyone died and you just kind of won. Man, I, ca I gotta say that I expected Disc 2 of Xenoblade to be a the lot longer. Collapsed? What of Melia? Yeah, no, we're I going straight into, like, a weird, weird cutscenes to just explain everything. They ran out of time. Oh, fuck, it's Xenogears all over <sighs> again. <laughs> you don't need to worry about them. But... Take and here's our new narrator. I've got a pretty good idea where they are. If you're gonna attack, I mean, you there are worse options. Now. Their fortress ain't completely destroyed. Or do we just sit here and wait to die? I mean, that sounds like the Shall safe I the option. Detonation ritual now. Forgive me, Seer. That will not be necessary. From now on, we will seize our destiny with our own hands. We don't need to see the future. The Mechon forces are on their way. No doubt about it. I like the look in your eye there, lad. Unblinking, cold, dead. Time. <laughs> this is war. I appreciate Dixon just being like, Hey, those visions, they ain't shit anyway. What's he seeing? Oh no, he stubbed his fucking toe. <laughs> 